Mike, we're here at Quick Grinds Technology Centre in Tewkesbury in the UK. What are we going to see today? We're demonstrating our cutters for machining steel. So we've got an H13 die steel in soft condition using our Bulldogs and our Q-cuts and a new development on a five flute Q-cut, Chicago Millin, three times D. And do you do a lot in this field? We do a lot. It's our biggest selling uh, range of tools. Uh, export is, is huge for this kind of tooling. The Bulldog is, uh, and the Q-cut, regrindable, re as we say, remanufacturable a number of times, five, six, seven times. So it's a, it's a big, a big uh, idea for us to get the UK to look at steel tooling more than, um, we're, we're quite well known for titanium and ink and our sustainlessness, so we're, getting, we're having a push on steel. So when you look on our website and other websites and magazines, people like to talk about cutting tools they're developing for heat resistant alloys, but you guys haven't forgot the basics, have you? You're still doing tool steels. There, there's an awful lot of tool steels around, you know, in, in our main industry is the aluminium extrusion dies, so you've got lots of um, H13s, D2s, they're hard and soft state. So we have, uh, I think, another couple of months' time, we'll do another video machining in, in a hard state. But, yeah, it's a, it's a basic tool, uh, to, uh, material to be used, so we shouldn't forget it. And if we can reduce cycle times for people, that's great. So John, Mike's told us all about the tooling you're using, but what, how about the strategy? Well, for the Bulldog show, we're using a constant spiral down strategy on a contouring profile. It's in a one millimetre step down each time it, does, it moves around the part. It's very effective for the tool. Uh, the Bulldog is a bottom cutting tool only. It's, uh, a, very, it's a high feed tool designed for cutting H13 soft uh, and a harder steel materials with full remanufacturing process available for the tool as well. Yeah, the Bulldog is an exceptional tool for doing pocket work. Uh, it comes in various different lengths, fully customised to suit your machining needs. Uh, there's a bottom cutting tool only, so we only ever cut on the bottom. I Meaning, if you get the tool back to us in, the, in a fair to good condition, you can maximise any kind of e-manufacture out of that tool at the same time. And the next tool? Okay, well on this tool we have three different Q-cuts. We have a 20mm four flute, which is roughing out, a 16mm four flute, which is finishing, and a 12mm five flute, three times diameter, which is doing a recorder milling slot through the middle of the path. And the trichoidal milling looks fairly aggressive. What's the data? The uh, data for that is 160VC with a 0.1 feed per two, 35mm uh, depth of cut and an 8% tool diameter step over. And the Spectre, what's the Spectre doing? Uh, yeah, the Spectre, Joe, is an extremely high feed, three fluted tool uh, that is producing the seven millimetre slots uh, that are in the middle of the part at the moment. Uh, it's, a, it's a tool that we produce from 20 millimetres to 50 millimetres neck and, and diameters from two millimetres up to 16 millimetres, uh, which are sold constantly across the world uh, in the dye industry, producing a very high finish on every part. And we can't forget the ball nose finishing. Yes, over the top of the part, Joe, we have the Zodiac ball nose, which is doing a 10mm diameter, which is doing a 0.3 step over, taking from the rough form right down to the finished face.
Gladiator, the final tool, the Gladiator. Yeah, that's a four, four millimeter Gladiator, two fluted, uh, which is a different type of ball nose that we offer. Uh, and that's doing detailed work around the pockets and around the outside of the park. This is H13. You like tall seals, don't you? Yeah, H13 soft. Uh, we find our Bulldog Spectres, uh, they work extremely well in it. And then when we move into the hardened material, the hardened H13s, the Spectres again work extremely well. I mean, we've, we've moved towards the Reaper range of tooling, uh, which is designed for H13 47 onwards.